We are literally fresh off the range with Calibre Innovations Siskar. And I happen to have Ali from Calibre Innovations with us, who had just been down the range, put how many rounds through these? Quite. About 100 or probably, so? Yeah, about 100 rounds or yeah. so. Um, and like I said, I've got Alistair with me uh, just to talk us through this bad boy. So just tell us about it, Ali. And, uh... Yeah, thanks. Um, so this is our new, uh, it's a Siskar, it's a Calibre Innovation side charging AR. So it's available in 223, 6.5 Grendel, 762 by 39, 300 Blackout, 458 Socom, 50 Cal Beowulf. Um, so all, basically all the AR-15 compatible calibers, which is the beauty okay. of the AR. It's a, you know, it's like Lego, you can just put it together how you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, what you see here, minus the scope, um, is the basic package. So um, you've got a MOE CTR stock, so it's lock lockable stock, nice and sturdy. MOE grip, it's a um, ALG QMS trigger, so it's a mil spec trigger, but it's been slightly improved. Um, so it's not as graunchy and gritty. Yeah, it does feel nice one. anyway, I must admit, yeah. A um, Anderson EXT handguard. So this, what you've got here is the 15 inch version. And it sort of goes quite nice, it's quite a uh, nice... Um, keep talking, I'll just yeah. do the camera work. <laughs> uh, Hercules muzzle brake, it comes with a three inch rail for mounting a bipod. Obviously you can buy, the nice thing about it is if you want it reasonably slim line, uh, you can obviously not have any rail on it. And you yeah. can put them where you want. So. It's been quite a popular request with the uh, sort of foxing guys that you can obviously put them, you know, you can put extra ones on it for your lamps or lasers or whatever you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's not a dog leg charging handle. That would be an optional extra um, later on. It's a straight out the bolt carrier group handle. Uh, the reason for that is it keeps the cost down. It's very simple, obviously, to to make. Yeah. And it's um, yeah, it's a good sort of good shooter. That prices for this basic package. Uh, I say basic. It's still a you know good good gun. Um, 1440 pounds comes with a 20 round PMAG, which is this one. Um, 10 rounds are available as well, which I quite like for them out at night. It's a uh, more slimline, doesn't stick out as much. And it's um, you can have shorter hand guards, you can change the stock, you can change the grip, like any AR. Yeah, it's yeah. a good you know, you can build it how you want. So we take orders, say, you know, I like this, but can you do, for instance, an 11 inch or 11 and a half inch hand guard so yeah. I can have the overbarrel moderator on? Um, we obviously shoot it with our caliber innovations. Deuces, and yep. you can change that into an over barrel as well, um, which is which is a popular request. Change the grips, you can change the trigger, match triggers, CMCs, they're quite popular. Just drop in, don't they? Yeah, yeah, Pretty and much, they're yeah. lovely and crisp. Um, it's a 16 inch, this version is a 16 inch um, 223 wild barrel, and it's a RF85 coated, which is like a they call it a nano technology. Um, it's right. basically it's not a coating, it's impregnated into the surface of the material, right. Uh, into the steel barrel lasts twice as long. It's 23 percent less friction. You don't have to oil it ever. You can wash it in soapy water. Uh, you don't, you know, it won't go rusty. It's, a, it's a, you know, they, they last twice as long. Well, we've tested it today. We've been out in the rain. As well, yeah. you'll see in the footage now, it's absolutely peeing it down. Yeah. So we, we've just had to literally dry this thing out, haven't we, for this tabletop video? So yeah. <laughs> so it's a good. It's a, it's a nice sort of package. We also um, we've done. Hey, uh, Just grabbing take, another one. We take um, green mountain barrel uh, blanks and um, machine them down and flute them. Um, and these are uh, sort of quite nice and accurate. This is sort of 16 and a half inch. Again, same break, but you can change that. Um, the I'll show you the group it does. Just give me a closer look at that. That is ace. That was loud as well, weren't it? Yeah, that it does, was a break. does bark quite, quite <laughs> substantially. 556 five, this is, by the way, or 223. Yep. Two, so as far as groups go, I don't know if you can yeah, yeah. see that be that way. So these uh, squares are one centimetre. So NATO ammo, standard NATO ammo, will give you sort of an inch group. So one MOA at 100. Um, 69 grain triple G match um, SMKs will give you, uh, well, that if just... you ignore the flyer, which was irritated me massively, uh, <laughs> those four are 0.3, um, 0.3 MOA, which, right. is, which is pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Um, Ignore the others, I've sort of ones. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, and that's off a bipod, no bag. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a good, yeah, it's a good rifle. And it's, we're going to offer it in left hand and ambidextrous as well. Um, personally, I quite, obviously, you're left handed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you're prone, to use your right hand is quite nice because you're, you can keep your cheek well sorted out, keep your To, to be on honest, I'm, I'm that used to using right handed guns 
as long as I'm comfortable on the stock, yeah. I'm not really bothered. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'd put up with, um, you know, a right-handed one anyway. Yeah. So. But, yeah. Uh, so it's a good, um, a sort of a good all-round package. I mean, the price goes up with the calibers as well. Yeah. We've had people spec, you know, much different hand guards. You know, several hundred pounds more, and yeah. obviously they know that that's what it's going to cost. We have a. Let's just put this one on. Keep talking. I'll yeah. Put this one on the table. Uh, we've um, obviously we can import pretty much anything or anything legal. So. Um, you know, if you see something you like, we you know can order it and and put it put it in this part of the build, and it becomes a bit of a custom yeah, custom order. Yeah. But that's not a problem. Obviously, it sort of charges the bolt group is um, fairly smooth, uh, nice, sort of well polished chambers, yeah. so you don't get any sort of sticky extractions, um, which you'll see in the video. We didn't have any of those today. Yeah, and it's last shot bolt hold open in it on the mag. Yeah, could that be? Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay, um, and yeah. It's a good. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant. Really, really good. Uh, but some fun with these, apart from the rain. But, uh, but what what we talking like lengthwise? Um, the actual barrels. They're, they're all coming in the same length. Are no, they? You, so again, it, it's fair. So that's the, that's the standard. Um, this is slightly more accurate, but the standard one is a 16 inch barrel. Yeah. And that's you know looks quite nice with a 15 inch handguard. But yeah, again, yeah. you can have you can have down to seven inch. You know, if you really want, as, right. as, as, as again, as the same handguard, um, or you know, we've had again, we've had customers say, "Can we have? Can I have a, a twelve-inch barrel with a fifteen-inch handguard?" And yeah, yeah, put an, yeah. You know, a mod on it so it looks sort of yeah. integrally suppressed. So all sorts of weird and wonderful requests. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's the base. You know, it's the stock okay. stock model. And what are they weighing in at? What are they? That is a very good question. I ah, that. we'll throw that in the. Uh, I'll annotate that in the video. Yeah, we'll have to wait. But they, I think they're dead light, dead light for what they are. Mm. And then on, just it's all obviously standard AR controls. I'll just break one of these open for you guys, just so you can see the guts. I mean, it's all standard AR, isn't it? Does the bolt come out? Uh, you have to take the handle out with like all sort of side charges. Right. Um, the screw goes into the bulk carrier group. So yeah. Just undo that. When you same as when you're cleaning. Yeah. Uh, undo that. Take that off. Um, take that blanket screw out, and then the bulk carrier group slides out. It all out. comes out. So that's your field strip. Yeah. So put an accuizer, accu wedge in there as well, which tightens up the upper to the lower. Right. Part, right. Which is um, not sort of essential, but it's a nice. Nice you know, touch. Ma ma makes yeah. it feel a bit, bit, bit more sort of sturdy. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Right. So if I wanted to buy one of these now, what sort of spec? You know, is the standard so, AR? What, what what would I get for my money? So this is this yeah, this is the standard one. Of, of the cat, the price goes up. Um, you know, if you want a fifty cal Beowulf, the price is slightly increased. Yeah, to, yeah. Say, two, two, three, four, fifth reasons. Yeah. Um, but this is the stand in the standard format um, with the smaller calibers or the same price. You got a MOE CTR stock, MOE grip. Uh, it's good with that you come with a. It comes with the Magpul furniture. Yeah. Well, it, again, it's 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 a, you know it's proven to work. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, comes with one twenty round mag. Although you can have a tens and thirties as well. Yeah. Um, I'm just show the guys with the mag in. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's really satisfying. It's quite satisfying. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's a nice noise. <laughs> um, ALQ. That was obviously an empty mag, by the way. <laughs> Uh, ALQ QMS trigger, so yeah. quality mil spec. So it's slightly increased. Um, so it's, it doesn't. Uh, it's not as graunchy and yeah. gritty as a standard trigger. Equally, it's not a 200 pound CMC trigger, but yeah, you yeah. can upgrade that if you want. Uh, it's got a 16 inch Anderson barrel, which is a RF85 coated, um, which is a sort of nano treatment, which is impregnated in the material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, Hercules muzzle brake, which you can see. There. Um, they're quite uh, quite nice. Noisy but nice. No, yeah, bit bit of a bark to it. We like noise. We don't mind. Um, it's uh, the lowers we machine in house um, from Cerro Blanks. Okay. And the upper um, we import as well the bot carrier group. Um, again, we we import. They'll be available in left and right handed and ambidextrous. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the 15 inch Anderson EXT handguard, so you can have that in different lengths as well. Okay, I must admit, I do like the handguard, it's yeah. minimalistic, none of that side rail stuff that you don't need. Yeah, it's a slimline profile, so you can put the rail where you want it, yeah, 
and you know obviously that's set up for a bipod if you were out foxing or whatever you might want an extra one on the side for a torch or a laser yeah but you obviously don't have to just literally bolt on through the, the holes yeah, there got, yeah various three inch set holes um all the way down you've got the uh got qd yeah i noticed that well. yeah and on the what's yeah. it yeah brill brill so let's measure the trigger cool yeah that was cock wasn't it? It was. <laughs> just checking, just checking. So standard trigger, we'll give that a pull. You don't even know what it's pulling that. I've got you? no idea. I would imagine it's around six-ish pounds. Have I got the safety on? Hang on. <laughs> unprepared, unprepared. So let's give it a pull, see what it's doing straight out of the box. Well, so to speak. As it were, yeah. I'm not used to saying that straight out of the box. We'll do that again. So I'd say five, is it? Five, five ounce, five pounds, three ounces. Yeah. Let's give that another one. I'll get it at a better angle, better angle. Okay. These are a little bit. So four to five pounds. Four to five pounds, yeah. It's quite so, a crisp. Yeah, it's, it's, it's well. a nice, it's a nice uh, pull, definitely. But. Oh, they're great, mate. Honestly, they are great. Um, I can see me having one. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, what um, have you got? Like, have you people got sort of pre-order these, or have you? Yeah, have so you got a bit of a stockpiling, or no, not not as yet. So we're um, obviously the first batch is uh, being done at the moment. Okay. Um, we've had quite a few orders already, so you know, if you want one early, get the order in. But yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, they'll be ongoing. We've. Um, the markets we've found so far, you've got the sort of the CSR guys, practical guys. Um, also, we've found we've had quite a few orders from a practical um, sort of foxing guys and uh, yeah, yeah, varminters. Yeah, it's um, you know ten round mag that doesn't sit that far out of the mag well. Is a is a request. No one's bothered with the twenties. Orders from those sorts of people. No one's bothered yeah, with the twenty. Um, it's, it's nice to slim line. The yeah. AR, you know, the AR is a is an ergonomic platform. It's yeah, the, you do it's what it's you want a with it. Why it's a popular, popular model the world over. Yeah, Barbie yeah. doll of the rifle, isn't it? Yeah, you do what you want with it. Dress it up how you want. Yeah, not that I'm into that or anything. But brilliant. Thanks very much, Ali. For that's uh, the Cisco from Caliber Innovations. So I'll put a link in the bottom of the video to your website, and uh, obviously all your contact details if any anyone's interested in having one of these, I know I am, definitely in the uh, 223, uh, yes please. <laughs> right, cheers Alistair, thanks very much. No, thanks for having me. Thanks guys, that's Rack and Load, see ya.